What's up, NBA squad? It's your girl, Tierra on the Madam Boss Lady channel. And yes, you guessed it. I'm on to some other stuff, some old crazy stuff. This is the Elf Transit bike. And um, this is a little lightweight review just to tell you what I'm doing with this Elf bike. I'm going to do a little demonstration in just a second just to show you what this is. It's a three-wheel recumbent bike, an e-recumbent bike, which... You know, once you are driving and pedaling, getting your exercise, you get tired, you too far out, then yeah, you can switch over to solar power or battery power and it's an e-bike. Now, I would be the first to admit they could have found a better way to put this together where you're not challenged to get in because it's not the easiest bike to get on or get into. And some people call it a car. When I asked for service, when I checked around for service, they were calling this a car. And I don't consider it a car. I still consider it a bike. Um, it does have lights like a car and so forth and so on. It moves, you know, in traffic like a car, but it's not a car. It only goes a few miles per hour. But yeah, it's not that easy to get into, but it's so fun to drive. So watch this video to the end, just in case you were looking to find a bike or even this bike, a recumbent bike, and see if you like the reviews that I give and see if this is a bike for you. You'll probably see the wildest of wild things. So this is my Elf Transit. Elf Transit vehicle. Yeah. It's made by organic, organic Transit. And honestly, I think you can still buy them now. This is a, a, like a 2015 or 2016. I'm not even sure what year this is, but I think you can still purchase these online at Organic Transit. However, I did see on the internet where they sold to a bigger company or a different company. They went out of business and another company sold or bought their business or whatnot. Not sure how that's working. I thought I needed a battery not too long ago, like a few days ago. <laughs> so I was on a mad search to try to find a battery. And this is a lithium ion battery. And honestly, they were looking at like anywhere from $800 to $1,300 just for the battery. The wattage or whatnot was a little bit higher than the one that mine uses. So I'm not exactly sure um, if it was the same type of battery or if it was a better power battery or whatnot, but that's where I ended up. Turns out <clears throat> I didn't even need a battery. This is cute. I didn't even need a battery. I had to charge it a different way. I didn't realize how I was charging it wrong. Looks like I might need some tires though. But I've been out all morning riding on this thing and the response is always... <laughs> freaking hilarious so the components are pretty easy i guess that was the whole purpose of making this bike i don't have any statistics i didn't look it up like that i like the bike i bought the bike but it turns out that um it's not it's not too heavy i'm not sure how much it weighs but i think all of this is aluminum aluminum that is built with aluminum and lightweight plastic um yeah so it's pretty efficient as far as I'm concerned. The one downfall that I think this that I have is the fact that it does not have shocks. It doesn't have shocks. I'm actually working with somebody who builds these type of bikes and I'm going to have them put some shocks on this bike because I really like it and that is clearly the biggest downfall um, for me. But I think it, draw, it goes up to like 30 miles per hour I can go on the street I just can only go like you know 30 35 miles per hour well I don't even think it goes 35 anywhere from like 28 to 30 32 ish um I've had it about a about a year and, and this looks like it's all corrugated to be honest here yeah so it's, it's just lightweight I mean it's heavy like I can't lift it or anything like that but it's lightweight compared to what it could be made out of, like steel. They use the lightest materials from what I understand. And like I said, I don't have a whole bunch of statistics on how fast or all that other good stuff, but I will say it's fun. It does grab a lot of attention. 
these mirrors kind of I'm just going from here to there <laughs> but these mirrors kind of go you know in any rotation you want them to be in that really that's a good thing because I have the seats all the way back but some people will not need all that going on so you're gonna need to adjust those mirrors so yeah that's pretty dope I'm actually in the process of getting the lights I don't know if you guys have seen these days people are putting a lot of lights on uh, their bikes and I'm in the process of getting the lights to put on my bike and be able to ride throughout the night um, I'm not sure how that setup goes but like I said I have somebody who I'm working with who will get me right because that's what he does and if he does a great job then I'll shout him out on the next video that I do about the elf I didn't mention the solar panels I just spoke to a guy he was like oh I tried to buy one and it didn't have solar panels I'm like well I don't know if you bought an elf because all of them come with the solar panels but yeah this one has solar panels and I've turned off the battery so that I can let it charge but I want you all to understand this being the 2015 we're in 2022 right now um, this solar panel or the solar system is supposed to take on average like eight hours or something like that to charge the full battery um, I think it takes a little longer than that I've never charged it with only the solar panels but I'm sure it will take a little longer than that so whatever I'm, I'm just gonna charge it like I've been charging it and um, yeah but yeah if it, if the newer ones when the newer ones came out I'm pretty sure they have a higher powered panel or whatnot so if you're going for the new one you're gonna drop a couple like eight nine ten thousand dollars I'm not sure but then you'll have a more high powered solar panel and yes these lights do work I couldn't believe it that's another reason why I really like it you can drive this bike at night and it has lights on it and those three sets of lights is really cool but the front headlights work I don't know probably won't be able to see it if I turned them on now but they work and I thought that was dope and they're pretty bright however I think I would probably want some brighter ones just to be on the safe side because people are getting hit all the time on, on bikes and even though this one looks pretty unique I don't think they're hitting them because they can't see them I think people are just vicious these days I don't know there's no way you can tell me this many people are hitting this many people on bikes and they can't see them I think it's more or less people being on their phone while they're driving so of course you can't see if you're looking at your phone anywho another story for another day but yeah just kind of doing a lightweight review a couple minutes to let you guys see my new venture <laughs> I'm always into something but yeah you can check me out on the next video make sure you subscribe to this video and this channel and follow me on social media at madam boss lady on all social media except for twitter because i don't tweet and i don't have snapchat so yeah but it's your girl tiara and off on this elf ride catch me in the next video bye